Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU and today I have an iOS 13.5 jailbreak related tutorial that I've been wanting to make for a bit. Seeing as the Uncover iOS 13.5 jailbreak has been out for a while, in today's guide I'm going to teach you how to unjailbreak your device, basically set everything back to the way it was pre-jailbreak all while maintaining every bit of your personal data and all of your applications on your device. Literally the only thing it's going to do is on jailbreak, which includes deleting any and all tweaks as well as apps that you've obtained via Cydia. So you're gonna be fully unjailbroken. Now there are a number of reasons why someone might want to do this. Maybe you wanna sell your device, you have to send it in for repair, whatever the case may be, this is the guide for you. But I'm even gonna take it one step further and I'm also going to show you how to back up all of your tweaks before the unjailbreak process and get them as well as all of their settings back onto your device so that way you can restore your jailbroken state. If for whatever reason you want to unjailbreak and then re-jailbreak again in the future, this is the guide for you. So for that reason, you can find timestamps down below in the description. So if for instance, you just want to unjailbreak, check there because first we're going to start with backing up your tweaks as well as their settings. So let's just get straight into this. First of all, like I said, we're talking about how to back up. You need to obtain two things from within inside Cydia. You don't have to add any custom sources or repositories. All I want you guys to do is just go to the search tab at the bottom and you need to install two things. So the first one is Batchomatic. So just type in B-A-T-C-H and it should pop up. So just tap into Batchomatic. You'll see install in the upper right hand corner. Whereas I have modified because I already have it installed. So I'm just gonna tap modify followed by reinstall. So this is the screen that you would see. You can tap continue queuing right here so that way you can get the other tweak that we need. Um, we need files us. So type in F-I-L-Z, it should pop up. We want files of file manager. So tap into it, tap on install, followed by confirm right here. So that way we can download and install both of these at the same time. And once this is complete, uh, you should just be able to restart your device's springboard. So let's do that now. And then you can simply unlock and we're going to back up. Now the way we're backing up is just by launching Cydia and then going to the search tab at the bottom. You will see a new icon to the left of the search field. It's a steering wheel of sorts. Now, if you do not see this, I I think I know the answer why. So you wanna go inside of your uncover application and then tap on the settings cog in the upper left hand corner and then make sure load tweaks is enabled. If you have this disabled for whatever reason, turn it on, tap on done, and then tap on re jailbreak. And then the next time you launch Obsidia, you'll see what you need, the steering wheel. But if you already had that, then this is where you wanna pick up. So just tap on the steering wheel and you have a few different options here. What I want you guys to do is tap on the middle one on the top field right here to create offline.deb. What this is going to do is essentially just create a deb, create a backup of all of your tweaks, all of their settings, all the preferences and everything for use at a later point so that way you can restore from it and it will set everything back to the way it was prior to the unjailbreak process. You can also do an online deb, but I really do not recommend it. I have encountered a couple of issues myself with large number of packages installed. So we're just going to wait on this. Step two can take a little bit of time, but in post I sped this part of the video up so it should be done right about now. All right, and when it finishes, you will receive this pop-up right here stating that it is done and you have two different options. It tells you where it actually puts the backup, but I recommend on tapping this little export option right here, and then you will receive a share sheet. And within inside this share sheet, I highly recommend just tapping on save to files, and that way you can actually export it. You can actually send it to a different device if you have it, use it at a later point, back it up somewhere else, maybe on your computer, whatever the case happens to be and here you just specify basically where you want to save it inside of files and you can also rename it so I'm just going to name it epic tweaks 
one and then tap on done and I just want to leave it at default for me so I want to save it on my iPhone I don't want to save it on iCloud Drive so I'm just going to tap on done and now it's inside of the files application and it is as easy as that for how to back up now, if you, like I said, are going to fully restore your device or something, then what you want to do is save this in a spot where you can access it at a later point. So open up the files application and you can just navigate to it. Mine is Epic Tweaks 1. As you just saw, you can tap on it and then you can tap on share and you can maybe send it to your device either through AirDrop, you can mail it to yourself, whatever the case is, you can figure out how to get it backed up. Okay, so one other thing before we actually get into the unjailbreak process, I want you guys to take note of my current setup here. I have a lot of cool tweaks installed and a lot of preferences for them already set, as you can see right here. And I'm even gonna lock my device and you can see I have a pretty epic lock screen. If you wanna see how to get your lock screen looking exactly like this, we actually did a top tweaks video on this setup. It will be linked in your cards now as well as down below in the description. So so check that out if you're interested, but at any rate, I just want you guys to pay attention to all of the tweaks the way I have it set up right now. Okay, so let's get into unjailbreaking. What I want you guys to do essentially is just load up the Uncover application. Now, if you obtained Uncover from the no computer jailbreak method and for whatever reason, the restore doesn't work the first time, sometimes it does take a couple of attempts, but definitely you can actually do it and revert back to your stock iOS unjailbroken state, then unfortunately you're going to have to get it through the computer method if it doesn't work the first time for you because when you you go to reboot your device, you will not be able to load up Uncover. It doesn't matter whether you have AppSync installed and you think you re-signed it utilizing reprovision, which is a method that a number of individuals sent to me that actually does not work. It does not re-sign Uncover. So point being, you really do need this through the computer jailbreak method, which of course will be linked down below in the description. And if you don't even have the Uncover application, you're going to need to get it installed, in which case you can follow my jailbreak tutorial. Follow the steps all the way up to getting Uncover, the IPA, signed and installed and usable on your device. Basically everything up until the jailbreak process. And once you do that, then tap inside of the settings cog up in the left hand corner of Uncover. And I want you guys to check off Restore Root FS and also Refresh Icon Cache. And you definitely do need to have load tweaks checked off as well. It seems kind of counterintuitive, but when you don't check that off, for whatever reason, it doesn't really seem to refresh the icon cache and it will leave the applications that you've installed and obtained through your jailbreak on your device. So you'll still see icons like Zebra, Files, um, Snapback, etc., so on and so forth. So you do need to have those three options checked off, then just tap on Done, followed by Restore Root FS. And it's just going to go through the process. Now it's not going to get to step 31 out of 31. In fact, this jailbreak never does. Sometimes it might even only get to stage or step 19, but just tap on X out of that pop-up there. And really all you need to make sure is that at the bottom, your uncover basically says that it has restored root file system and that it says jailbreak completed. And this pop-up will also say that it needs to reboot to finish the jailbreak process. Yeah, the restore is complete, the rootfs restore. And like I said, all of your files and all your data and everything is left alone. That's fully untouched. It's just reverting back to the snapshot it made when you actually performed the jailbreak to begin with. So the language and the verbiage here is just a little confusing, but the unjailbreak is actually complete at this point. So just tap on OK and your device will reboot. If for whatever reason it doesn't come up and it just stays on a black screen, what you can do and what I have found helpful is just pressing the volume up, volume down, and then holding the side button on iPhone 10 style devices and up and also on the iPhone 8. So let's just wait for this to power back up. And again, if it doesn't show the Apple logo, you can press those key combinations that I mentioned 
I'll be back when we're at the lock screen. All right, so here we are. I'm just going to swipe up now and enter my device's passcode. And now we are on jailbroken. We just have Uncover. We don't have anything else on our device other than of course alt store but what you can do at this point is you can just delete them both so you can just go to edit home screen you can just tap on the little x in the upper left hand corner to essentially delete those applications i'm not going to do that because we still need it for the duration of this video to show you how to get your tweaks and how to get everything set back up the way it was prior to unjailbreaking but at this point, you're good to go. If all you wanted to do was unjailbreak, that's it. But I highly recommend watching to the end of this video because I'm going to give you 104 reasons why you should re-jailbreak. We actually did a video of our top 100 free Cydia tweaks. A segment of that will play at the end of this video and it's also linked down below in the description. I highly recommend just leaving your device jailbroken or at least re-jailbreaking at some point in the future. It's really quite an awesome process. But at any rate, let's get back into things and how to revert back to our jailbroken state. So at a later point, if you want to do that, just obtain uncover through the method that I highlighted previously, just alt store, alt server, get everything set up using our jailbreak tutorial, like I mentioned, linked in the description, and then just tap on jailbreak and it's going to create a new root FS snapshot, which will be used in the event that you ever want to unjailbreak again. And of course, it's just going to re start. Same thing applies here. If it doesn't just come up with the Apple logo or it takes too long, you can press those key combinations. So volume up, volume down, side button, and just hold it until you see the Apple logo. But it does appear for me this time around. So let's just go ahead and wait for it to reboot. And now here we are at the lock screen. So let's go ahead and swipe up and I'm going to input the password again. And uh, what we want to do is just launch Uncover and tap on Jailbreak. And uh, of course, this is just a very, very fast and uh, I guess kind of slapdash Jailbreak tutorial of sorts in the middle of this unjailbreak guide. So if you really wanna see everything and all of this jailbreak's caveats, like I mentioned, watch the complete tutorial. But the jailbreak is finished, we can tap on done, and it's just going to respring into our jailbroken state. And uh, the Apple logo should appear shortly, but those key combinations should get it to pop up. But just note that here at this last and final stage, you don't wanna hold down the side button for too long, if you even do at all. Um, I'm just going to try to trigger it here. I noticed that sometimes this helps, sometimes it doesn't. So let's just try to get it to pop up here. Okay, there we go. We have the Apple logo now and let's just wait for the lock screen again. Swipe up and now we do have Cydia. Now we need to obtain the two things I had you guys install previously. We need both Batchomatic as well as Files. Uh, and let's just wait for the sources to refresh here. For me, I found that sometimes for whatever reason, a full refresh does not occur unless I turn off Wi-Fi and I'm just on cellular or LTE. But now it's just going to pull back the changes. And I do recommend installing these changes first if you're coming from a fresh jailbreak like we are, because the first time for whatever reason, I always get this DPKG locked error, and this is a very quick way to actually bypass that, to essentially just return to Cydia and then attempt to reinstall any available upgrades, and as you can see, now we can install things. So we want both of those Batchomatic. so let's tap on install, continue queuing, and then we want files. Uh, so here we go, files of file manager, install, confirm, it's going to install everything as well as all of the dependencies and then we can actually proceed. Okay, so now let's just go ahead and tap on restart springboard and uh, swipe up to unlock. And now I want you guys to go to wherever you have your deb that you created previously, your backup. Mine is Epic Tweaks 1, it's just still inside of my files application. So we tap on it and then we tap on the little share sheet in the lower left hand corner. And I want you guys to tap on copy to files. If you don't see it right here below your recent contacts or your suggested contacts to share it to, just swipe on 
over, tap on more, and it should be available there. But I'm tapping on copy to Filesa. It's going to redirect me to Filesa. And now I'm just going to tap on it, Epic Tweaks 1, tap on install in the top right. And once this is complete, once it says your steps to install the deb and it lists all four of them, then you can tap on respring followed by yes to the prompt. This step isn't necessary, but I do just recommend it just to err on the side of caution. Now we load up Cydia, go back to search, tap on the steering wheel again, and then install.deb. And we just tap on proceed. You can just leave all of the settings and toggles the way they are by default. And once it is complete, which it can take some time, especially on the fourth step, you will receive two additional options. I'm just going to speed this up and uh, in post, and that way it should be complete right now. And here you go. As you can see, it says that it is done and it successfully installed the .deb. And I want to toggle on run UI cache as well as have respring, which is by default. But UI cache will essentially just ensure that any quote, applications that you've obtained through your jailbreak and that were backed up do appear on your device's springboard. So that is kind of key and it doesn't take too long. You can see it is already done with both. Everything is the way it was prior to the unjailbreak process. I have all of my tweaks. There is just one little issue here. Let me just lock it real quick just to show you guys that I have the lock screen set up exactly the way it is with that epic OLED Proton tweak, but uh, like I mentioned, there is one issue that you could potentially run into. If the next time you load up Cydia, it pops up with this message and says half installed packages, what I want you to do is tap on ignore temporary and then go back inside of your uncover application, go to settings again, and this time I want you guys to toggle on reinstall Cydia tap on done, and then tap on re-jailbreak. And it's basically just going to re-exploit your device's kernel, reinstall Cydia, and then you're just going to re-spring. And uh, don't worry, this does not affect any of the preference bundles for your tweaks or the tweaks themselves. This really and literally just reinstalls Cydia the package manager, and from there, you should be able to actually use it as expected, and it should not pop up with that error talking about half-installed packages. So let's go ahead and swipe up now. We're going to open up Cydia and let it refresh, and I'm just going to show you that it does not show any such message anymore. So everything is functioning properly, and we can use Cydia to its full extent. So guys, that is the process. That's the full tutorial, how to back up, how to unjailbreak, rejailbreak, get all of your tweaks and their settings back prior to the unjailbreak process that is coming full circle, and that is everything. I really hope you like this tutorial. And now a segment of our top 104 Cydia Tweaks video is going to play that can be found down below in the description, and it's also in your cards earlier in this video. And uh, yeah, like I said, hope you guys like this one. Stay tuned for more, and until next time, this is ICU signing out. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is part two of our top free tweak series for iOS 13.5. I have some awesome new tweaks for you today. We're gonna cover those first. Okay, so let's get into things. First up, we have a new design for our widgets and notifications with Blanca. If they're a little bit more rounded, you have a couple options to choose from there in the settings pane. Secondly, we have color me notifs to uh, make your widgets and notifications the same color of the app icons that they relate to. Next up, we have this custom battery widget right here called Half, looks pretty sweet. If you guys want your YouTube videos to keep playing in the background, we have Circube. We have multiple light on the dock. Now you can switch between your music controls and your dock icons. Uh, heading into the camera app, we have tap, tap, flip. So just double tap to flip the camera. Also on the home screen, we have tap, tap, lock to lock our devices. We have this pretty cool new way to select text. Instead of it saying uh, select all copy or paste, we actually have icons right there with menu support. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. If I go to Safari and 3D Touch on that, we have Paste and Search. Whatever's in our clipboard, we can just tap that and it will search it within Safari. 
Uh, I always use this one. This was just recently updated. Circle settings to uh, give our icons in the settings app a circular look.